Well, I finally managed to do it. I finally managed to succeed and actually build a settlement and learn a couple of things about this game. So the fun thing is that in one weekend I had some time and instead of me recording content for a variety of games, which I currently cover here on the channel, I went a little bananas with this one title and I recorded like a couple of episodes. So. If you leave feedback in the comment section and I won't be able to apply it in the future episodes, it's mostly because of this. But other than that, I still want to thank you for the support. And we're going to go and try to set up a different settlement to see if I will be able to replicate my success and actually create some successful settlement yet again. Now. All things considered, the first settlement which I set up was actually in a region after we did do the reset and I am actually playing on a different safe so I was able to go into the capital and because I was able to actually get a couple of things, I now have a couple of deeds unlocked and thanks to that I was able to get a bunch of achievements and also purchase certain upgrades. And some of them are actually quite interesting because for example if we take a look over here, this gives you a basic or essential building that is at the start of all of your pools and later on you can get the beaver home, you can get the lizard home and now even after actually successfully playing through the game and I'm not sure if it's because I was able to unlock a settlement now I have access to the fourth official race and those are the harpies. Now humans are proficient in farming, beavers in cutting wood and lizards are proficient in meat and uh, processing meat. However, there are additional tasks which each race is somewhat semi-proficient at. And so for example, if we would be collecting rainwater and turning it into this weird dewy liquid, beavers are efficient. Then if we would be creating clothing, then the harpies are efficient and so on and such so there are lots of things which i have learned and hopefully like i said we will be able to actually proceed and be able to set up another settlement now the fun thing is that this region over here which has these two locations seems quite actually interesting however the problem is that there are a bunch of negative effects applied here so first of all if we would go here the modifier here is that the rain is especially toxic in this region and no resources will be refunded after destroying a building which means that if we would to demolish a building i can lose all the invested resources so i would have to make sure to relocate the buildings and then there is this thing, the barren lands, and the soil is too acidic, and there is no fertile soil anywhere in this region. This can be quite problematic, especially when it comes to acquiring food, as I have not had yet situation where I would have multiple settlements set up. I do not know what the hell would actually happen if, like, I would have two settlements. How the hell do I establish a trade route? I mean, this settlement over here has herbs, insects, reeds, stone, bricks, cloth, parts, oil, coal, copper bricks, and so on and such. So already there's a whole bunch of stuff which can be done. But I'm kind of trying to set up another location where we can go. And I don't want the regions to overlap because then the effects are negated and we would not get so many provisions of food if we would to be successful so i'm thinking we're gonna go into this region down here and there are gonna be the archaeological locations so we're gonna have to dig through bones now we have the option one to go with eight humans and because we have now access to the human housing it would actually help them have a higher morale and so we might consider that but because constant inflow of wood is a crucial part i think actually going with the beavers and the harpies might be a better choice in this case so i'm gonna go actually 
with the beavers because especially at the start of the game chopping down trees in order to get access to the other glades is quite crucial so we're gonna go with this one i'm never really sure what to take so because we're gonna have for example veggies meat parts wildfire sense leather wood i'm gonna take for example for example we can take eggs and we can take stone so something additional additional that is not already in the mix and well of course it will highly depend on what missions i will have to fulfill so depending on what i will have to do we will see if i will be actually su successful in actually achieving a victory so horror from beneath we have some negative effect on some elements and downpour now downpour can be negative and uh, 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 without proper shelter and nourishment people will have to compensate somehow so we do have tougher location and the buried mysteries are the archaeological dig sites and then there is the royal archaeologist so that's an additional building which we will have access to and as we can see it will cost us quite a lot of planks bricks and fabric to create now straight out of the gate i'm trying to take a look at where in the hell are we gonna be cutting through and uh, <clears throat> this is quite the interesting map seed so option one is cutting through this thick forest and then option two is going over here now the biggest problem which i have so far figured out is that uh, the buildings which we are given at the start usually might not be something that i would really need like the rng on this is absolutely horrible now for example if we go with a small farm this is awesome because it gives us the essential crops and grain but on the other hand if i would go with for example like foragers camp that might be more beneficial as we might actually pick up the wild berries or or sorry vegetables grain and insect then we can have a herb garden which would actually produce roots and herbs and then we can have plantation or the small farm but i think i'm gonna go with the foragers camp but i would really like to see so scavenger camp is over here that's for eggs and roots so let's see if we go into this we would be able to pick up different stuff okay we'll go with the foragers camp Cellar is quite awesome because it allows you to employ lizards and lizards can be quite efficient in this building when it comes to production of pickled goods and jerky now the important thing to keep in mind is the final products which we are making and the fun thing here is to keep an eye out on the products which you need to provide for for example beavers or your harpies now both of these actually share biscuits so as you can see biscuits should be something which we can focus upon because if we would provide biscuits for both harpies and beavers it would increase their resolve if it increases their resolve the bar is getting fulfilled and we get one two three four five six seven eight actual blueprints which we can get along the way so there's the one option of how we are getting the blueprints the second option is filling in the missions so there goes that okay so what is the second option which we can use theoretically rain mill is quite awesome because this thing actually allows us to process grain into flour and we can also process the goods like copper ore bricks or fabric into pack of building materials which can be sold pigment is problematic unless we have a building which specializes in producing it so uh i'm not really sure if i want to mess around with that bakery is cool because bakery can actually provide us with pottery and also of course it can make biscuits but of course for that we require flour so here is the problem and the chain of 
food production or resources which you need to keep in mind if i go with bakery on one hand i will have access to let's see pottery and then pottery can be used in cellar to actually be combined with berries to make wine wine is highly sought after when it comes to beavers right like luxury services this is the wine for example but without actually having the previous step going with the bakery seems like a really bad idea so goats okay goats are another thing which can be sought after by beavers but unfortunately we don't share the common thing with our lovely lovely harpies so education is one thing which they share biscuits is another thing which they share other than that harpies share brawling with lizards and also jerky and the skewers so having harpies and lizard might be a little bit more optimal uh, this is gonna be tricky this is gonna be tricky trying to provide for all of them Jerky, well, for that we'll require insect or meat and wood. I think I'll go with this because we will get pickled goods or jerky and pickled goods can be used for beavers. So we're going to go with the cellar. It's unfortunate we don't have lizards. And then there is the lumber mill. I especially do like the lumber mill. One main reason as to why I like it is because it uses a small portion of wood in order to make planks. And if you put beavers inside this building, they have the best proficiency. So they keep turning out planks after planks after planks. So it's really awesome thing to consider. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, you would require either wine or pigment in order to make scrolls and those are used for educational purposes so that's the common th theme which both of harpies and beavers require in order to boost our resolve and then there's also the pack of trade goods and that can be done from a variety of things so if we would be making pottery or something else we can make pack of trade goods uh brickyard i'm not really sure i'm not gonna probably use it that much does have the efficiency in making bricks and also pottery so theoretically both of these can be quite useful but it will require clay problem is right now i have zero idea if there's going to be actually clay in this region this is one thing which you will have to try out for yourself you're gonna have to fiddle and mingle with the actual biomes which are currently available in the game and there's quite a lot of them i'm afraid which is good thing but the bad thing is you will have to know what type of resources can you expect in each one of these specific biomes so for example going for something which specializes in mushrooms and being in biome where you cannot actually forage for mushrooms is quite idiotic problem is i still don't know what which biome is more prone to have the mushrooms and which one will actually not have them at all and this is applicable for berries this is applicable for meat this is applicable for uh, crops which can be grown on the farmable tiles and so on and such so uh this, this is gonna be quite tricky uh yeah if we want be able to make this i'm not sure pack of provisions is gonna be helpful the f grain to be turned into flour that's quite nice uh man i don't know right now we're kind of in a funky situation require clay or stone and spark dew so that's from rain collector there beavers are more proficient and we can make crystallized dew and crystallized dew can be actually used in a uh building which produces the simple tools the simple tools are then used to crack open the crates and so on and such uh man kiln is good when you have access to lizards because they will be able to put out the jerky in the high proficiency and also they can make coal and currently we already do have access to mine so if we would come across certain deposits 
it will be easier okay stone deposit can be obtained here so theoretically bricks uh we can make stone into bricks unfortunately we cannot switch clay for something else to make pottery and stone will be able to be combined in order to make the crystallized dew uh you know what i will hold on to that blueprint for now so first of all we're gonna start off by doing few things so first things first we're gonna have to make sure to provide shelter this is something which everyone shares and it's housing this is the first thing which you can do in actually boosting the resolve for all four of the species or how many of them are there currently in the game and so if you fulfill their housing it will boost their resolve and if you provide the specialized housing it will give you additional bonuses so we have currently five and five so we need i think i'll need uh, four houses this will be room for uh this will be room for actually 12 but we have only wood for three but if i would use up all my wood then we would not have anything for the ancient heart and if this goes down the result for everyone will go down dramatically so i don't want to mess around with that and theoretically we can put down Harvester, no, not really. Forager, no, not really. We can put down the scavenger. Scavenger would be able to gather the roots. But what I want to focus upon first is getting the wood cutters. The reason why, fairly simple. This way, we can make sure to actually boost the initial production of wood, so that we can build then those additional two houses. So I'm going to hold on to this blueprint for a little bit. We're going to have to wait for those missions to start popping in. So we have Burry Mysteries, Light as a Feather, Harpy Firekeeper can teach Villager how to be more nimble and agile. So we do have that, okay. So this will be bugging me for a little bit, but that's fine. We're going to be able to employ four beavers immediately. I'm going to leave one. And I like to actually mark the wood cutters in order to actually see the area of effect. So once we clear out this chunk of trees, I'm going to move this location further in. So we can gain access to these two locations. I don't want to tackle one of the more dangerous locations because they might require resources and so on and such in order for us to be able to tackle these situations or whatever. So that's why I want to wait. So currently we are low on wood. Okay, so we have grain delivery. Uh, we can get three grain per minute okay so let's go with that because that means we might be able to use this fertile soil for berries or something else so that we can for example make uh i don't know wine for beavers or something eventually once we unlock additional buildings of course but yeah th this is the problem like when you get these initial buildings you really should think about the biome in which you are the species which you have and uh, that will heavily affect uh, what you will be able to actually do. Let's put down the stone cutters workshop. We're gonna employ the harpies. <laughs> None of the races are proficient at mining stone. And I think it's only beavers which have slight boost when it comes to actually being in these mines which are able to extract coal copper and whatever other resource you might come across man that's a lot of talking that is a lot of talking but okay basic necessity has been met housing is done now these are the orders we have to fulfill three six nine 
11 orders in order to successfully win the scenario. The initial ones are the easiest, but they can still bite you in the ass. So, for example, first one, we need 35 paths to be constructed, and for doing so, we get faster movement on roads and 10 stone, or we would need to make pack of crops in order to get 10 gold or 10 amber, which is equivalent of gold coin, uh, industrialized farming, so plus one pack of crop production, gain additional pack of crops every yield, and then planting crops is 25% faster. Unfortunately, because we don't have humans who are most proficient in farming, I'm gonna go with the path, because building road, you're just gonna end up doing it anyhow, and roads do not cost you any resources. So we're gonna move this building further in select it and we're going to be able to cut our way to this location and here we have our first spot so forger's camp and the uh, yeah herbalist camp herbalist camp harpies are most proficient uh in the forger's camp i i got nothing for you maybe it's the harpies maybe it's not who knows but as you can see thanks to the sped up time we are actually making a decent progress but yeah eventually i'm gonna try to clear out all these thick forests in order to create building space for housing and other structures because at the start having beavers i believe is absolutely essential just due to the fact that they are able to get you uh, these woods cleared out the fastest out of all the species. Don't get me wrong, the other species can do it too, but uh, not so proficiently. Um, so, I will try to move even you here we will still be able to get to this grain but the reason why i'm moving them is so that we can start working our way on this and after like a cycle or so we should have the influx of first newcomers and i do wonder what's gonna be the third race in this biome if it's gonna be humans or lizards <clears throat> and we have already the first order almost complete 29 out of 35 paths have been constructed so let's take a look at the second one okay so the second one is forager's camp we can build that and we will require 20 veggies and 20 insect. Insect might be problematic. Good salt might be far more easier. The trader's hub or the trading post is one of the most essential buildings you can ever construct because it does not require a worker. And through that building, you can actually gain additional blueprints, additional bonuses and resources which you might be missing and be able to actually successfully get other orders fulfilled. So I'm going to go with good sold. And saying that, I'm going to start building the trading post. This thing requires wood, so we will be able to actually fulfill this. Let's push you in even more and clear out all of this. This way we get access to both of these glades. And these routes will have to be cleared out, of course. But it would be beneficial first to get maybe a few more beavers so that we can clear out these trees a little faster. Or just any population whatsoever in order to speed up gathering of the pro uh, resources. Now usually once you construct the trading post, uh, quite easily you can get uh, a merchant fairly soon. Okay, so it seems like lizards are gonna be our third species here. Okay, so we can get pottery or leather, or we can get plant fiber for three harpies. I think I'll go with lizard, beaver, and uh, 
harpy so that we can have two of these lumber mills working at full pace uh seems like stone cutter is now fully utilized so we will have to build these scavengers hot in order to tap into these roots and we can extend the road like so and by doing so we will have our first order fulfilled so over diligent woodworkers some woodworkers just can't stop working gain three barrels for every 10 planks produced yes the people are feeling oddly rebellious gain plus one global result for every two impatient points i think i'll go with the barrels uh just because we will eventually set up shop where uh producing the planks will actually be happening i mean so far we have only the crude workstation which sucks it uses a crap ton of resources in order to make bricks planks and fabric but at the start of the game it's the only thing which you can truly do rain collector would be nice because we will be able to employ beavers there we have first commission done or first order now let's take a look at the second one okay so complete any two glade events can be doable scavenger camp stone cutters camp and 10 bricks is something which we would require this i can see myself doing uh this might be tricky and it can take time so let's go with this one because we have the buildings already so all i need to do is literally gain bricks and if i want to i can totally screw with this and i can load in a crap ton of wood because we have it and we need uh 10 bricks so this alone gives us a value of 10 point 86 ambers right these bricks only cost 5.20 and we can get additional achievements or bonuses if we would for example uh 20 pottery each time we discover new glade that's awesome because then i uh if i keep unlocking new ones we will get this bonus automatically so logically because we have zero ember in our storage i need to actually go in and get the rest of the value by trade i'm trying to look at what other resource i have in higher value so that i would be able to theoretically get this because just right now we're trying to cut our way to like what two to three additional glades so if i would be able to get this at the start it would be awesome because even if i would not end up using the uh ceramics at the start i can then sell it and uh, see what else would i need down the road so let's see uh i can sell the rest of the wood that would get us to 1266 i can go and sell some stone seems to be highly valued and i still need 10 additional ambers so that's valued at 12.57 huh trying to figure out what to sell i don't want to force it but theoretically we can do this i highly suggest if you have a merchant keep pausing the game because otherwise things will not go well so we get two additional points here and therefore i will have now four blueprints to unlock okay uh so let's take a look so lumber mill is great for planks and we should have that weird bonus where we are making those uh barrels so i'm thinking lumber mill is a great choice now trapper camp is great for a lizard uh small farm is great for vegetables and grain herbalist camp is great for uh gathering berries herbs mushrooms and here we have berries so herbalist camp or here we have potential for a farm i think i'll go with the 
herbalist right now. Uh, Carpenter, we already have something fairly similar, so no thank you. Um, training gear, cosmetics. Now, training gear is something which the lizards and the uh, harpies do share. So as you can see, jerky, skewers, those are both featured here. Biscuits are more inclined with beavers. So getting the production of meat up and running here would be beneficial for us. Unfortunately, there's no such building as a farm or something where you would be able to have cattle. So that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. I really want to get this archaeological tool buff. So I'm trying to think. Uh, what is it that I might be able to sell? We're still gathering those pesky pesky uh, grains, I believe. God, I hope so. Uh, 20... Twelve fifty exactly. Okay, now we have thirty amber. I'm gonna spend ten on this so that we get that pottery bonus. And uh, I think that's about it for now. But what I should do is make sure that housing. Yeah, six, uh, six. That's twelve and thirteen. So our lizard does not have housing. So we're going to have to fix that. Pronto. Okay, unfortunately, I cannot really cram the herbalist camp here. So already crammed in here as is. These beavers are going to have to clear out a bunch of trees, but I want to get to the blade. To three of them. So theoretically, we will utilize this bonus three times which is quite awesome okay now housing has been actually resolved for the lizard so that's awesome we still have buildings which we can get okay so skewers biscuits uh both of these are tempting for the skewers we require either insect meat mushrooms or jerky and veggies eggs berries or roots and then there's flower and either herbs, berries, or roots. And then there is the pigment, which can be done out of uh, multiple things. I think we'll go with the cookhouse. Uh, smokehouse is a great thing, especially if you have lizards. But I think I'll go with the farm this time so that we can tap into this and uh, produce grain and veggies out of it. Because veggies can be used in that cookhouse. And in that cookhouse, we will be able to make those additional things. So, definitely want to do that. Um, RPs are doing this. I want to build that thing for the berries here. While roots are gathered here. And hopefully, we'll come across some additional resources in these other glades. Now, the small glades are crucial, especially at the start of the game, because they do not endanger your settlement. But on the other hand, uh, yeah, if, if you like try to put in some other species, or, or if you try to you know, uh, go into these larger glades, you might come across more resources, but there might be something which will continuously keep making your colonists nervous or keep uh, like uh, focusing on their resolve and so on and such. Okay, so first of all, chests of ancient tablets is quite awesome. This sells for decent margin. And then there's pack of meat if I would keep it. Or we can increase Queen's Grace and send some money to the capital city. And then there's this thing where we would actually require spark dew and planks and uh, excavation so we can either get roots box of infused tools bundle of fabric and incense incense can be used for that church stuff or the religious nonsense so that would actually help out i'm trying to like see here unfortunately our species are absolutely horrible 
when it comes to collaborating on this specialized stuff because uh, education is the only thing which I see being shared. Other than that, they have leisure, religion, and cleanliness. So those are three highly specific different buildings and uh, it's just not gonna do the trick. A uh, building designed to help you study the past can be upgraded to locate archaeological discoveries to improve the settlement's exploration capabilities. Sounds awesome. But uh, scavenger camp. We're going to have to move this one over here so that we can tap into those uh, eggs eventually. Let's see. If we switch out the lizard here, we'll have two harpies over here for the berries. And therefore, we have uh, two unemployed beavers. So, theoretically, if I would be able to make that goddamn lumber mill, it would be awesome. But I will have to make the crude workshop first. Because unfortunately, we will need to somehow start establishing our supply of fabric, bricks, and planks. And that cannot be done without this building. Then there is the blueprint, which is actually workshop. And that thing is far more efficient when it comes to producing these resources. Problem is, of course, in order for that to happen, you need to unlock that blueprint. So, and that can suck. Do we have simple tools? Of course we freaking don't, so we cannot really crack this chest, and I don't have the infused tools either. So, yeah, I would have to, like, have spark dew and planks in order to do that. Theoretically, we can actually start working towards the rain collector. Uh, we can cram that over here, build our basic path like so. What did we get here? Roots and eggs. That's nothing really that amazing. But okay. Uh, this scavenger camp will eventually be relocated. You know what? Let's do it right now. Ah, we will have to tackle this. But that thing does not have negative effect. Now this high hostility thing is somehow uh, generated by us. Uh, interacting with like the foliage and everything and you can see that the resolve is going down and that can have negative effect as uh, our lizards and harpies can leave us and that would suck okay there's a lot of eggs here and if we would have the trappers camp lizards would be perfect for it because they are highly proficient in those types of buildings um, we will have this location unemployed and we will have to move the scavenger camp so that we can tap into those eggs. I'm gonna relocate you here. And I'm gonna try to mark some of the trees to be removed, but not all of them. I don't want to get into the dangerous glades yet. Man, this biome is kicking my ass. I mean, let's talk challenge, goddammit. Try to cut my way th into this glade so that we utilize the bonus of those archaeological tools. We don't have spare beavers. Damn it. Words I never thought I would say. So these boys are making bricks, planks, all this good stuff. Okay. We can have Harpy, Beaver, and a Raptor, or Lizard, with 15 clay. Or we can get Coats and Eggs. Eggs we're gonna get. Coats would be only beneficial for Beavers for a little bit. I think I'll go with this option. All three of them. We're gonna have to pick another order soon. And I think I'll go with the 50 path. 
because we are at 46 as is, so that's actually kind of shocking. Uh, steel pickaxe, plus two stone production, gain additional stone every yield. You've managed to enlist some excellent hunters, meat production increased by one every 25 times it's produced. And the problem is, I'm not really sure how much this is able to stack up, because the game will give you option, for example, to have the same thing a couple of times, and the... Uh, if you, for example, have meat specialization, and later down the road, you get, once again, meat specialization, and there are lots of creatures which can be harvested for meat, this ability will not stack up anymore. So, this should be something that should be addressed by the developer. And right now, I don't know which one to choose. Uh, because I don't see any deposits which will help me make that decision you know so it's kind of a big middle finger and if you see this blue hue that means that they are slightly more proficient in set tasks at least i hope so okay let's build the zam path once that's done it doesn't require resources we have another thing complete we get stone and amber Okay, let's take a look at this one. Okay, uh, so Harpy Houses, we would actually require the blueprint, and we would need to have stack of 40 jerky. Then there's pack of crops, and then there's pack of trade goods. These things might be trickier to get done, but we will see. We will see. Okay, bath house. Okay, so for example, here, right? Uh, bathhouse is for cleanliness, clan house is for spirituality and the uh, fighting nonsense. Then there's the guild house, which is for beavers and that's for like the luxury nonsense. And then there's the lizard's home. I think I'll go with the clan house because it can fulfill the fighting. The fighting and the spirituality. And uh, fortunately, beavers don't share that. So it would benefit lizards and harpies specifically. But, uh, uh, it's great. Let's go for it. I want to build the lumber mill so that we can actually uh, increase the efficiency at which. We are making planks, especially, so that I can shut down the production here. Because 8 wood is way too damn much in order to make 2 planks. That's not something good. Uh, Harpy has left us due to probably low resolve, so that sucks. So we'll put in a beaver. Beaver is gonna put this into high gear. And pack of trade goods can be made out of a variety of things. Like for example, pottery, which we will be unlocking because we will be getting to these new glades. As an example. Uh, planks will be necessary. Hold on, let's pause the game. So planks will be necessary here and the spark dew will be necessary too. Uh, we have spark dew. We do have planks, but we need... 35 spark you and 10 planks in order to successfully do this So I'm not really sure if I want to commit to this thing yet Let's see if you have basic tools or if you're just gonna annoy the living crap out of me Okay, so first things first ale production. No any farmer can carry five additional items That's actually quite beneficial Traders will arrive, uh, arrive 15% quicker. That's what you want uh, rich in fiber, plant fiber production, gain additional, yeah, we would need like a plantation for that, and we don't have humans, so the production is gonna suffer as is, so screw that noise. So, since we have the merchant here, one thing which I want to focus upon are some of the consumables which we can get, like for example the biscuits, at least temporarily we will boost the resolve for our lovely lovely harpies and beavers, so I don't mind spending for provision because I know that we can theoretically uh, somehow make it work. Unfortunately, for some dumbass reason, I have no more money. How do I have no more money? 
So, because I've spent this, uh, I don't think I will be able to afford anything else. I can try to give them berries and stuff, but... Uh, this has eight more charges. So I'm not really sure how the charges work. How many resources are there for left? There's plenty of eggs and potential meat still left. Uh, you are gathering those berries, so that's cool. We don't have more beavers to spare, unfortunately. Move you over here so that you can chop down this over to... God damn it, why is this that these Jews are like this? This this is horrible. Uh, trying to think, trying to think. I know it's difficult, but still trying. No stone deposits have been found yet. I really hope I won't have to get into these larger glades in order to come across a stone deposit. God damn it, that would just piss me off. Uh, pack of trade goods. Unfortunately, we don't have any which we will be able to sell at this point, so that sucks. Uh, let's uh, actually switch this. Wood and pigment for scrolls. It's far better. And, uh, yeah, let's just unpause it and see what's up. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the meat production. Uh, I think I'll go with the pack of crops and pack of trade goods. Don't have a choice. And we can start taking a look at the next one. So, uh, cut through the forest to discover four glades. That's absolutely doable. We are in process of doing it. Now, you have to be careful when you pick up multiple quests or multiple missions where you have to do the same type of product. Because, let's say you have to provide 40 pieces of something for one commission or one mission and 30 for another one. If you do the one where you have to like use the 30 or something then it's gonna actually take all those from your uh storage and you have to start all over again and create additional 40 in order for you to fulfill the second mission so be careful when you are picking up these tasks or orders so that you do not do duplicate missions or duplicate resources as that can actually harden you in the long run. Okay, I really want to make sure uh, that I have disabled the plank production because that will just burn through my wood like crazy. And here we can focus on plank production as is. If we would get more beavers, of course. Anything which you can do... Do we have... We are slowly getting there. I need 35. Ancient skeleton to be... On Earth. I'm trying to think here. I think I'll go with the excavation just for the hell of it. But getting that uh, archaeological uh, office would of course help us out too. Getting some simple tools would be awesome, but we would need to get a merchant who actually offers that stuff. We have anything else where these two lovely harpies can be utilized? Of course not, because why would you even bother? Okay, I have to be careful here with this woodcutter because he can theoretically cause problem as these guys will actually over time deplete these trees but not in the way that i would like them to okay so here we have copper so mine can be constructed here and we have the uh, berries and the forager okay so forager camp can be moved somehow in the vicinity here I'll be able to do it. And I have to move this berry picking bunch. Move them in here. 
So we have access to this. Now, a harpy has left. Probably due to the lower result. Because I'm not fulfilling any of their additional needs. And so their, uh, what's it called? Their resolve is super low, therefore. Uh, all houses have room for one village. Uh, this is awesome because instead of three, it uh, creates in the basic shelter room for four. I don't know if this applies specifically for the human house, beaver house, lizard house, and harpy house. But be careful because this queen's envoy or cornerstone tends to be uh, offered multiple times. And it does not stack up. So you will not have eventually room for five, six and seven people in one shelter it only goes once so be careful uh about this uh no trading available screw that i would not want that like probably ever uh plant fiber is great because that will allow me to keep making the goddamn fabric which we so desperately require here we're gonna switch to clay when it comes to brick production and let's get in. I need Harpy. I just lost the Harpy. I need a Harpy. What can I tell you? Sucker for Harpy when it comes to specialized processing. But eventually we will need to cut our way into one of these dangerous glades. And I think they're gonna soon do it over here. So I don't know. Maybe this will be the first one. Unless we think of something else to do. How many unemployed people we have? One beaver. Two lizards. And that's it. Okay. Uh, let's put down the scavenger camp because there's a crap ton of eggs here. And I do want them to be employed. I don't want them to be just sitting and doing nothing. So you can have multiple buildings of the same type, of course, in order to speed up the harvesting or the foraging process. But be careful about it, because uh, I, I don't know how much production do you need in order to satisfy need for, let's say, the biscuits or whatever. So it's kind of tricky in that way. Uh, rain collector is still working. We have 30 do 12 planks. 35 and 10. Let's start investigating. And here we have our first dangerous location. We have sea marrow deposits, large root deposit, stormbird nest, copper veins, herbalist camp, medium abandoned cache, and forsaken crypt. Forsaken crypt is the biggest problem. And if we won't have incense or any of these additional resources to provide, won't be able to get rid of it. I think I would really like to get the chest of ancient tablets. And there's the negative thing. So, Glade event. What was once taken must now be given back. All stored amber and wine will be lost. One impatient point and the rob debt. The scent of your wealth makes the rob spirit angry. You get minus four global result for every 10 amber in the settlement's warehouse. Well, the benefit is I, I don't think I have that much of that. So <laughs> now when it comes to actually these herbalist camps and so on and such, there's one thing which you need to keep in mind. When you uncover these buildings in these glades, they usually cannot be moved so the difference is that we have this herbalist camp which we have the blueprint for and we have this option however once the structure has been uncovered uh we, we cannot move it so i mean i'm not sure if these roots would be gathered but after that you're still kind of screwed and uh, you would not be really able to do too damn much anyhow about it. I'm going to move this wood lumber camp in order to clear out this large chunk of trees. And gain like a proper entry here. And uh, we don't have enough tools. Well, scrolls are like the closest thing which we have. 
Ah, uh, man, this sucks so badly. We need basic tools for that. We need a merchant. We have room here for six. I have one free worker now, which sucks. These three beavers are kicking it. Uh, we will require the stone cutter to be moved here in order to get the sea marrow. The sea marrow can be used either for fuel or it can be used as a commodity to be sold, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, if we don't fulfill all of this, this won't be finished. These two won't be able to uh, be done with this and therefore we won't be able to utilize them. So we have six tools. That's 12 tools. That's 22 tools which we need in order to unlock all these crates with goods. Just these crates with goods alone. Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to move you like so. And I'm gonna have to move you like so. And you're gonna have to cut me away in here. And then in here, and then in here, so that we utilize that bonus of us getting that pottery. Okay, merchant, show me what you got. Merchant is pissing me off because merchant did not bring me what I need. It sucks. Pack of trade goods, we are already starting to fulfill that, but we're gonna have to build another building in order to actually turn grain and other stuff into something useful. Uh, goods production, reputation, uh, fabric production, gain additional fabric for every yield, gathering, farming, or production. Sounds kind of awesome. We have to keep in mind that if we mess around with that catacomb, it won't actually use up all of our money. So the best thing to do here would be to actually get 12 amber. worth of wood two hundred fifty for twelve get this and uh, well, that's probably it I'm not gonna use me for anything else my dear friends did not bring any blueprints or nothing so that's disappointing as hell uh, I want to assign a lizard here in order to salvage this for this. I'm not going to use this herbalist camp like I explained. And we have delivered everything, so they're starting to work on this first thing. <sighs> and more orders are being unlocked. We're uh, halfway down here. We're going to need to make something with these packs. Unfortunately, if we have... Uh, all people working, nobody will be able to make this makeshift post, which can specialize in pack of crops, pack of provisions, or pack of the building uh, BS, which we will so desperately require. The housing affected... Okay, everyone has houses, so that's okay. Roots are there. Okay, we can actually move this building here. So that we can tap into all these deposits. That's great. I will need a merchant with basic tools. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Makeshift post will need to be done, but I don't know if we have free worker. Now, scavenger has no deposit nearby. And so we will move it down here in order to tap into these eggs and these roots. I don't have anyone to get into this marrow nonsense. Uh, we need to finish some of these things in order to actually get some workers liberated. I seriously need to fulfill some additional uh, things for the harpies and for the lizards and even for the beavers. Because their re result is just tanking constantly. And that's gonna harm us in the long run quite severely. Uh, if I would build four decorations theoretically, which only cause stupid wood. 
that would actually upgrade the heart and it would give additional boost so let's go ahead and do just that okay what do we have receive three packs of provisions for every new villager it sounds absolutely stupid but considering the fact that we're just about to receive new villagers i absolutely love this the peasant supplies are absolutely great especially because when you keep receiving new and new people the fun thing is that eventually this will build up the reserve and the great thing is of course that that means you will have stuff to trade with so i definitely do recommend it okay now we require resin and oil you gotta be freaking kidding me with this stuff conserve the skeleton i don't know if we have resin you can come across biomes where you are chopping down trees and the secondary product is resin but you can come across biome where you just get pigment and wood so you can be kind of screwed on that one we can still get steel shovels clay production additional clay a uh, box of infused tools a crate of copper and a bundle of leather but we still need to provide <coughs> uh, all these things. I don't have oil, cosmetics, or uh, this stuff. I can do fabric. I would need to purchase the other stuff. That's what I see. Is my primary problem here. Okay, beavers. Employ the beavers. Uh, no, I want to make this the pack of crops. So, and prioritize that. And we can do copper here for the pack of building materials. But their priority is the uh, pack of crops. So that's what I want them to focus upon. Now we have upgraded the ancient heart. Uh, if we want to uh, increase it further, we need additional decoration and uh, additional stuff. So stuff for comfort. and stuff which actually serves as decoration. That stuff requires our wooden planks, which we for some dumbass reason don't have. Don't ask me why. Considering the fact that we do have functional lumber camps. A little upsetting. Uh, what did we come across? More sea marrows. Great. And another chest. Great. Highlight. Cut through here. Okay, what are you guys making for me? Don't have anything here. Uh, so focus on stone in order to make the bricks, I guess. Hopefully, we will get to where we need with another order in order to reduce Queen's impatience. I uh, really... Okay, we have this, so theoretically I can send in two Harpies. And... Uh, bundle of scrolls. We can theoretically regain the scrolls and get the chest of ancient tablets. This is awesome because it's highly valuable. It can be traded for good money. Or we can uh, do the Queen's Grace and get the money itself. Uh, let's let's do this. Let's, let's clear it out in order to deal with the impatience nonsense. You're gonna have to trade for oil. Or have a building which would otherwise be a specifically dedicated to the production of oil itself. Now we can make a mine in order to get copper. 
do have the necessary resources. Beavers are surprisingly most proficient in the mines. They have this sort of blue hue like you see over here. What is this building in here and can we utilize it? No. Okay, so tools. We need tools. Great. Uh, so first things first, advanced trading. Let's do it. That gives us an order, reduces queen's impatience, gives us access to something. Brick spottery crystallizes you. Oil in the press. What do we need in order to make oil? We need grain. We do have grain. So that would be awesome, because then I don't have to trade for oil. Uh, smelter would be awesome, because we would be able to make copper ore into copper bars. And we would be able to make crystallized dew, or we would be able to make biscuits! God damn it! Ah, uh, man. I think I'll have to go with this in order for us to... Provide this stupid oil. God, I hate that. Okay, let's go with the press. Uh. What else? Uh, what else? What else do you need for... You need fabric. Okay, screw that. We have a crap ton of fabric. Uh, we have these things, so I can sell these for some cash so what do you offer barrel production gain additional barrel every yield from gathering farming or production yeah that barrels are only produced crystal dew production yeah we would need to have that building which makes it ever since the great civil war all species have been locked in constant struggle the beaver clan remembers your help plus three to beavers resolve well beavers resolve is stronger as is builders construct buildings 50 percent faster that's nice fudge you have oil son of a biscuit I, i'm gonna take the tools i need like 12 would be nice for at least two of those things which we are breaking apart uh theoretically i can give you the tablet too it's 18 that's still not cutting it even close thank god we can sell you wood what do i do without this option to sell wood to beaver how could he say no to such an awesome deal right Okay, uh, sea marrow, let's get rid of this sucker. Unfortunately, I don't see the clay which, the, or the pottery which we are unlocking, so that sucks. Uh, I would love to get some planks, though. Would help speed up a couple of things. Okay, so let's mark these suckers. What do we get? Wood and ancient tablets. Or we get the uh, resolve. Queen's Grace, reputation goes up. Don't have free workers, that sucks. This one requires 10. We'll get green, money and reputation. We do have the 10 simple tools now. We have actually 12. I really think I'll go and I'll break down. Okay, if we go this, we'll get the wine for beavers and berries. It's kind of shitty. Uh, barrels and stone. Copper, we can mine out of here, so... Okay, I would especially love it if I would get more people to come in. Join our monumental cause. I'll build these damn four bushes.
in order for us to fulfill this and upgrade the heart even further. So that's going to be done. This is going to be done. Really small chance of getting an ancient tablet. Loving it. I need more workers, so these things need to get fulfilled. Okay, you are not doing anything, so guess what? Yeah, you guys are just wasting space, not doing useful stuff. I need you to do. Investigate. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, open caches. So, if we open up three caches, we have the resources for two of them. I would just need to get the simple tools. I would need to get three glades and have two ancient tablets in order to fulfill this one. So, I'll go with the uh, caches. Then we have the have at least one hub upgraded to level neighborhood or reach standing level two with two settlements on trader i have no idea what this is so neighborhood how much can i upgrade this sucker encampment i would need these four things to be done unfortunately and until i am done upgrading all these things just won't happen uh one ancient tablet what is this one yeah i think i'll have i i don't know what to do with this one that's what sucks if you get something like this it can totally fuck up your whole playthrough because then you just simply don't know how to proceed further so i don't know i will sit on that one i really hope that we have this oil and other bull shish kebab I thought we had oil. Please tell me we had this shindig. Okay, let's remove them. <sighs> okay, you know what? Screw it. Uh, glades? another one complete does not matter what we choose beaver you see the hue is applied copper is being mined out lizard cannot deliver the oil great two lizards two beavers simple tools would be nice Go with the simple tools. How many I have? Now eight. Okay, so let's use up all of this. Uh, okay, we can get berries and plant fiber and reeds. Play and other stuff and farm here too. Kind of never touched upon clearing out this. So I think it's time for us to gain access to the second location. See what's waiting there for us. These have been fulfilled. So now we have encampment and we do have the neighborhood, right? So hopefully doing this hub will do the damn trick and we can already deliver it awesome and we gain the additional tools which we so desperately need in order to crack open this sucker please tell me i have enough god i hope so or it's gonna be awkward I need oil. Can we make oil out of anything? 
Plantation, Clothier, Carpenter, no. Uh, crystallized zoo coats would be nice. Water skins, out of leather and oil, which we don't have, or meat. I think I'll go with the plantation. Screw it. There is this large spot where, where it might be doable. Market cut in here. God, I'm hoping it's not gonna be something which is gonna totally screw me over. Now, I have kind of been messing around with this and I have noticed one thing. There's the possibility that you can actually do certain types of upgrades. Of course, it will cost you certain resources, but for example, a uh, box scrap, miners found collapse tunnel loading uh, to more ore deposit, additional 120 copper ore. If we don't build support, the deposit will be destroyed, but this thing will require 20 planks, for example. But if we have it, we can actually get a whole lot more copper or coal or whatever other resource that we might be mining out of that one location so it's actually quite important to get it uh let's get harpies on here so that we get those herbs and let's see what's waiting for us here okay so we have a crap ton of berries that's awesome we have another copper deposit and what do we have a grove building destroyed by the storm it can be rebuilt or salvaged uh, uses nearby farm fields to produce a resin and crystallized dew that's new that that's definitely new or we can get clay and this stuff i definitely want to have this because there is the farmable land so we're gonna go and investigate this shindig and then there is this stuff again, which will burn through all of our money if we don't get rid of it. Fudge. And again, you want some dumbass stuff from me in order to do whatever needs to be done. Great. Just great. I really hope that the next merchant will have the stuff which I need or I'm so screwed it's not even funny. Uh, 10 tools. Simple tools, 4. That's not gonna save me. Uh, let's go for Queen's Grace and this. And open cash, done. So now it's only the toughest orders that need to be done. And this one can really really screw me over okay complete any one glade event and cut through the forest to discover two dangerous or forbidden blades uh copper bars production uh copper i think i'll have to go with this one unfortunately the ones which we have already cut into do not apply so we will have to start all over again which sucks i know i know I'm well aware of it quite a lot of farmable land in here Quite annoying. Uh, we need farm fields. And we can actually move this sucker. Interesting. I thought we cannot move these things. Trying to look for some optimal spot. Be able to get a maximum. <laughs> out of these locations. Unfortunately, the problem still remains. We don't have humans, so... The farming will suffer and will not be as fast as we would like it to be. Trader has arrived, but also people are leaving because resolve and stuff. Uh, so that sucks. But as you can see, we have quite a lot of stuff here, which we can actually sell. Uh, all buildings have their storage capacity increased by 10. That's actually quite a useful one. Pottery production. Uh, woodcutters move 20% faster. Grain, additional grain every yield. That would be nice. So what we will do is actually get jerky, get pickled goods, and get biscuits. This way, we will boost the morale. I also need the goddamn tools. Uh... 
I would like to have 10. Twenty, twenty, forty-two, ninety versus eighty-six, thirty-three. So we can get the additional tools. We can get more pickled, more jerky, more biscuits. We can get a whole lot more stuff. I will run you dry because I have the money to spend now. See, this is what I was talking about. By unlocking the the blades and getting all these provision packs or for just newcomers showing up, it's awesome. Eighty... Eighty-four? We're getting close. Uh, what else? Mushrooms? Do we need mushrooms for anything? Oh, we can grab some planks. Okay, 86, 32, 86, 33. Donezo. Now we have crap ton of stuff for our people. Uh, yeah, you see, this is what I talked about. So it, we already have this. We cannot stack it further. So I'll have to choose. Okay, it's showing me twice. Oh wow, it's not working? What the frick? But when I tried this before, it did not work. Ain't this some bullshit? Artisan coats, pigments, barrel, flower, scrolls, pack of buildings. Guildhouse! Guildhouse would be nice. We're not making flowers, so... I don't know. Either way, it kind of sucks. I'll go with the rain mill. I'll need to make a farm in order to actually start making some crops. Should have the tools. To investigate this. And, uh, yeah, I need to cut into those dangerous glades, I guess. So, let's cut into it. Not more beavers. So I cannot work with that. Oh crap, I did not look if they have oil. Yeah, never mind. Uh Herbalist. This is the herbalist cam once they have cleared out this. Small abandoned cache. Copper bars. Two two one. Let's go with the variety pack. That way I can get some beavers into the mine. Still have some copper and clay. Housing. Uh, unaffected four, it's bad. Two, we need more houses, that's for sure. Build the path. RP farmer left. Yeah, we, we gotta keep an eye out on this. It's not funny. I need to boost that resolve. That's why I bought all this food in order to, like, make them happier. The problem is once all these resources will get depleted. And trust me, they will get depleted. Uh, the result will drop down again. This is like a temporary solution. And I did not know you can stack up this thing. Holy fudgesicle. 
I would still love to get the blueprints for the specialized houses. Now you give them to me. Uh, okay, now the trapper's camp is kind of pointless. Uh, Beaver's house would be nice. Especially because we have 14 of these bastards. So... Uh, I guess I will do the following. Give them more specialized housing since we have the damn planks. And okay, so we have Forsaken Crypt, Large Encampment, Fertile Soil, Copper Vein, Sea Marrow, Stone Deposit, Stormbird Nest. Awesome. Uh, we can get uh, more people if we sacrifice veggies or something else. I'll give them X. We will get more beavers and more lizards. And again, we got to do this with the money stuff and uh, gain three incest for every 10 roots produced. Go for the crypt. Employ. Trying to think how the path here would work. Where would I move you to get something? I have only one uh, person who does not have employment. Uh, of, of amount of goods produced in the small farm. Okay, awesome. Once these are done with the sea marrow, I can move them elsewhere. I still don't have the goddamn oil though. And the beaver. You know, let's remove you from here and put you here so that we get the production of planks up and running. And the resolve is again down because all those resources which I gave them had been depleted. Uh. Investigate. God, I hate it when I don't click the brick button and it just ends up sitting there like it is. I don't think I have the tools to do this one. I will have tools to do this one. I won't have tools to do that one. I th I'm not sure Forger's Camp if it's the Harpies which are... Okay, we have fulfilled the settlement. Hop! Damn. D did I actually pick up all the things which I was meant to even do? But hang on. They only took like 80 something minutes. So, we got the reward of those food stockpiles. And we were able to fulfill a bunch of deeds. So, it's our second settlement. I'm guessing the third one will have to go somewhere around this side. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. This might actually kick my ass, but uh, yeah, we might be able to get in uh, something more. So yeah, let's take a look at our capital. So we have three additional deeds, win three games. Uh, win a game on the Scarlet Orchid biome. And there goes the achievement. So, Explorer's Lodge, uh, Druid's Hut can produce oil, incense, coats. Ranch can produce meat, leather, and eggs. Okay, this is interesting. A trade hub. And the new Citadel upgrades. And then we have this thing, which I did not read. A trade goods worth 3,000 amber. Awesome stuff. <laughs> Now, to look at the upgrades. We have unfortunately one of these which is missing, which sucks. 
but theoretically I can go over here because we have e machinery and by doing so I would get the beaver house at the start Considering the fact that I actually keep investing heavily into beavers because of their woodcutting skills seems like a worthwhile investment uh, stock caravans and vocation bonuses you choose before starting new settlement have 20% more resources you gain permanent plus one boost to the chance of obtaining bonus production yield uh, you gain permanent plus two burning duration you gain new embarkation bonus okay 10% citadel resource I think I'm gonna go with this one and unfortunately that means I don't have more food stock piles but yeah I'm, I'm finally starting to make some actual goddamn progress in this game so um, I'm glad for it and I'm hoping that you will join me at the next one so if you want to know when that will happen because I have like I said recorded a bunch of this stuff because I'm, I'm kind of going crazy over this game um, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell and this way you will be able to be notified when these episodes are uploaded and if you're not a fan of against the storm and you're surprisingly still watching well then check out the channel for the other content which i keep publishing on a weekly basis. and i'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully i will see you all at the next one thank you all for watching stay safe out there in the meantime and bye bye for now